This is the last Ukrainian checkpoint before the Russian border. And it's under pressure. This morning they shelled Krasnopilia. Earlier they shelled near here too. Craters are visible. They are targeting checkpoints and they're also hitting local people. In Krasnopilia, the nearest town, a shell landed in this vegetable garden. No one was hurt, but the blast blew out all the windows. Alexander says he and his wife discussed leaving a hundred times, but decided to stay partly because he's needed in the area as a fireman and partly just because it's home. Here I have all my friends, colleagues, everyone I know. I don't want to go anywhere. We just want all this to end as soon as possible and for the Russians to go home. In fact, the Russian troops that had occupied this region did leave, chased out by Ukrainian forces in late March. The Kremlin has since focused on eastern and southern Ukraine, but cross-border shelling here in the north has continued. For about a month, our district was not shelled at all, and everyone thought it would be over soon, that the war would end. But then it started up again. This house was destroyed in June. The couple who lived here were injured, Irina says, but survived. Sumi's regional governor says the Russians don't seem to be preparing a new incursion into this region, but are maintaining the pressure for broader strategic reasons. We have to defend the border and make sure they don't try to cross the liberated regions. And this continued shelling allows them to divert Ukrainian forces away from the active front lines. The Russian forces that had occupied part of Sumy region suffered a crushing defeat in March. One of their destroyed tanks is visible behind me as evidence of that. But the danger posed to the civilian population here and to the Ukrainian armed forces defending this region has absolutely not gone away.